And the future of the online messaging form used by the shooter is in doubt after 8chan was dropped by its network provider. Well, let's get more on that story from Alex and the Cube team. Well, Isabel, as it stands, Monday night, 8chan is looking for a new home for new providers to keep the site alive. But let's rewind a bit and show you what 8chan actually is, a site probably many people have never used before. Well, this is the front page of 8chan. Not much to look at, but you can see here a big disclaimer saying, much of the content you'll find on here will be offensive, but please don't post anything illegal. But here, look, they describe themselves as the darkest reaches of the internet. In essence, 8chan, which sort of really gained popularity after another site, 4chan, was be, uh, deemed to be too well moderated. 8chan became very popular as an unpoliced space where anonymous message boards could come to life, anyone could found them, and people could speak in a way they thought was completely free. That is why it's become very popular with many people who feel they don't have a home on mainstream social media. However, the Christchurch shooter, the shooter in California at the mosque, and now it would seem the El Paso shooter allegedly, all of them allegedly posting hate-filled manifestos, advance not warning of their crimes and promoting what they're doing through this site. And in fact, it was on 8chan that when links on other social media were taken down to say live videos from the Christchurch shooting, on 8chan user would find other ways to share it and pop it up again. It's inarguable that this site has become home to a lot of hate speech, white nationalism, racism and xenophobia. So how has it survived so long? Well, largely that's in part to the fact that until now, Cloudflare, which is a, an, online social, uh, an online media network, it provides the cybersecurity for sites like 8chan, until now they had stood by 8chan. No more. As of Monday, they pulled the plug. They called them a cesspit of hate. That is what Matthew Prince, the founder of Cloudflare, had to say. And so now many, many questions about whether 8chan will survive without this cybersecurity protection. As I say, desperately searching for a new place to be. However, is this simply an issue with 8chan? Well, even Cloudflare, who pulled that support for them, say no. This is a bigger problem. This is a much broader internet problem. And that's something Ryan Broderick from BuzzFeed News argued. He spoke to us earlier on. The issue is that 8chan isn't like Facebook. It isn't like Instagram. It isn't like YouTube. It doesn't have anything in it that dictates what you see. There's no algorithms. It's just a message board. It's the same as uh, any other website, which means that uh, any website could become 8chan. Uh, it's just that the users there are unmoderated and the things that they're talking about could go anywhere. The implication being it's society as a whole and not just individual sites on the Internet that has to confront the fact there are pockets of people who want to anonymously stoke hatred online.